Happy accident. No, save the pocket. No one will ever know. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I get a lot of requests for a lot of upcycles that you guys want to see me do. But I try to do as many that I think will come out good and sometimes you guys send me requests that as soon as I see it I'm like, yeah, I could do that. And this is one of those. I got a request from a friend of mine's aunt, Aunt Pam. Just if you didn't know in the black culture if you a family member of a friend you family to me so aunt pam asked me to try to upcycle this top out of a men's dress shirt and i was like okay i think i could make that happen so we not only are going to do that but we are also going to do a no sew version of it with a t-shirt scissors only yes scissors only so let's do it all right so here's my men's dress shirt this shirt is the same size as me so keep that in mind when you are looking at the final product um if you want yours to be large and flowy then you should pick a shirt that is bigger than you but this is the one i want to use i love the chambray look the pinstripe so we're going to try to use it the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and um, take a tape measure and you're going to measure from the back of your neck around to level with underneath your arm. You're gonna need that measurement because we're gonna cut that length. We're gonna need that length from the top button down. Then the next thing you're going to do is go ahead, if you have any uh, lapel buttons or collar buttons, you're gonna go ahead and take those off. With a seam ripper, make sure you don't make a hole like I just did. All right, so my measurement is 14 inches, so I am going to take a heat erasable marker or our handy dandy sliver of soap. I think I'll use soap today because this is a darker color. I'm just going to measure from the top button down 14 inches. We're gonna need that measurement all the way across. And if I measure what I have below that, then that'll let me know how long my shirt is gonna be in the back. It's gonna be about 13 and a half inches in the back and I'm okay with that. Then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and put both button plackets right side out just because I made the mark on the outside and we wanna fold it flat this way. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a slit and just kinda cut that collar back and I'm gonna cut right up against that seam. If you want, you can go ahead and take this loose and then take this out and then sew this back closed. But if I cut it right next to the seam, no one will ever know. Now we're gonna cut, start from the top and we're gonna start to angle out towards that line. Our underarm line is here. That's how much we need in order to get this thing to wrap around our neck and cause this button hole to attach to this button behind our neck. We're gonna cut from up here, making sure we leave seam allowance, and we're gonna gradually curve towards the side seam and this line. We may be able to go back and cut it further down and then make a more dramatic curve, but for right now, I'm gonna do just kind of like a direct curve because I don't want, if this gets too small, it may you know, make my chest out. So I don't wanna to cut too much at the very beginning. So I'm gonna be generous and go ahead and cut it like this. I know most of you are saying like, no, save the pocket. And yes, I should have saved it seeing as I have to take it off anyway, but it's one of those days where I just don't have time. It's either go for it or don't. Yeah, it's one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those days. And then once I get to this point, all I want to do is keep going straight on to the back. And the reason I didn't cut exactly on the line is because I want same allowance. And this is what we have. At this point, what you want to do is try it on. You want to make sure that you have enough length here to crisscross and wrap around your neck. All right, so now I see here that I feel, <laughs> I feel constricted. I will. Um, need more of this taken off, but I think it's perfect right here under the arm. So I'm not gonna do anything there. I just wanna take it down to about right here and start angling down a little bit more. Actually a good thing that we have some to cut off rather than cutting too much. Now we are ready, we ready. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take this to our sewing machine and just double fold hem this. So when I say double fold hem, what I mean is we'll fold it under 
and then fold it under again. And then we top stitch it right along the edge. What I'll do here from this seam to this seam all along the back because we're gonna add elastic, I'm going to double fold hem it, but I am going to leave an opening or I can try to go ahead and sew in the elastic and then leave it loose on one side. That may be a better option. That way I don't have to use the safety pin to get it in. It'll already be in there. The first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of elastic and I am going to sew it to the side seam right on the edge of the fabric. You see it's kind of sewn down there. I'm going to cut off the excess so this seam doesn't get too uh, thick. And then that way when I'm folding, I can go ahead and fold like this with it in the seam. Now the problem is I have to make sure I don't sew the elastic because it hasn't been pulled yet. I just have to make the seam a little bit bigger so I can get right on that edge and not sew the elastic. This may be a good idea. It may not. <laughs> so we're going to see. What I'm going to do is, let's see if you can see it. I'm just going to take my nail and push the elastic so this up against this edge and not that edge and see if this works like i said before if you don't want to do this method you would just leave an opening right here you would stop there skip to here and just leave an opening there and then you could go later on take a safety pin and weave it through from this side to the other side and then just sew it down <laughs> out to there skip the opening and go to here and continue just like we were before all right so we're done with that you can see it laid out here and the outside but I just don't know how long I want my elastic. So what I'm going to do is go try it on one more time. All right, now we can start adjusting this however you want it to fit. Now, granted, remember how much elastic you pull, it's gonna make it open in the front. Yeah, it'll make it fit along the back, but you wanna make sure that you are comfortable with what it's doing in the front, okay? So like, let's pull it out if I want it more closed. I can just do that. Okay. And then once you're satisfied with it, you're gonna add a pin there. All right, then we're gonna go and sew the elastic down. Hey, I didn't even think about this. I can also button this. <laughs> Happy accident. Look at that. Now it's giving me a little bit of a gape right there. So probably, huh. All right, so I moved the pin so that it was holding the elastic that's already in the encasement and then just cut the excess and tucked it. And now I'm just gonna sew it down so that it will not move the pin and I can go ahead and sew that close. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. The reason for notifications is so that it will notify you when I post a new video. Otherwise, if you're going through your feed, you may not see it. That's just the way YouTube works. So make sure you turn on those notifications. We have easy tutorials, no sew tutorials, all the way up to the most amazing epic upcycle tutorials ever. And we have a basic upcycling and sewing skills series going on, so definitely you don't wanna miss it. All right, back to the video. All right, so now, now the question is, can I do the same top with a t-shirt and only scissors? We have this no sew technique that we do with t-shirts that has a lot, a ton of possibilities. So I thought I would use it for this. So the same thing, we are going to fold our t-shirt so that the front is folded to the front and the back is folded to the back. What we want with this one, we need enough room to tie it in the back. And that is going to be difficult because I don't think this shirt is really too much longer than the other shirt. So if you can, try to find a t-shirt that is as long as possible. But what I could do is use the back. The back is actually going to be higher than the front. Yes, three inches higher. So that gives me a little wiggle room. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, so... 
What is wrong with me today? Utilize that 14 plus three and make it 17 down to the underarm. I'm actually gonna cut the collar off. So the first thing we want to do is split this t-shirt up the middle. Is measure our 17 inches. Mark, I'll use the heat erasable marker so you guys can see. That's gonna be our measurement from the underarm. So the underarm is coming down here. We're gonna make that curve up that way. And then we're gonna cut it straight on to the back. <clears throat> That line should have came all the way up here. And this time we can cut where we measure because there will be no seam allowance. And notice I'm being very careful with my cuts because I want them to be crisp. And I'm flattening out my fabric as I go because that will help me to make crisp cuts. I'm being kind of conservative with it because I can always go back and cut more. We can go try it on and see if we need to cut more. But before we do that, I am going to get some t-shirt yarn from the rest of the t-shirt. We're gonna cut a one inch strip from the back of the shirt and then stretch it as much as we can. It curls up and that's what t-shirt yarn is. All right, so then what we're gonna do is one side to the other, we are just going to make some slits lay it flat, fold it over a little bit, and then I'm just gonna make tiny little slits about one inch apart all along this edge. All right, so now we're gonna flip it over to the right side. You can see my slits there. All right, so now we're gonna put a safety pin on the end of the t-shirt yarn, and then we're going to weave it from one end to the other. And we're gonna start from one end and just take the pin in and out. We're gonna gather it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. And we're gonna put a light knot in that one. We'll see how we like it. That is it. We'll take it, put it around our back, cross it over, and tie it around our neck. All right, so let's see how it turned out. I will tell you, let me show you what it looks like. The first top, the one we did out of the men's dress shirt, did turn out absolutely amazing. I'm showing it here the way that most women who wear tops like this would wear it. Um, I see a lot of curvy women wear tops like this, and it's because it gives them just an amazing silhouette, and it also covers like a part of the bottom. It accentuates the figure without showing everything. Everything. And so I wanted to show you guys here what it looks like, but that's not how I'm going to style it. So I just wanted to put that caveat there, but just to let you know, it still does look good the way most people will wear. But here's my version. so cute just like a resort wear type of vibe um you know i'm going on somebody's boat somebody's yacht for the fourth of july yes <laughs> so that's what we're doing but also i am also ready for the cookout i'm ready to go to anybody's barbecue anybody's backyard event i'm ready to go to a pop-up shop i'm ready to go to a festival i am just ready so i actually prefer this one a lot more just because it's casual dressed down i do have on a bandeau bra on the first one for the first top and on the for the second top i have on a sticky bra put it down here and lift it up um not that i have that much to lift but sticky bras work on people like me i, I know i'm gonna get 50 million comments about people who want to wear this but you know you got the girls so you can definitely try a bandeau i know that doesn't work for all sizes but you know the bandeau will get you further than a sticky bra and also if you do not want it to separate in the middle like you saw me on the blue one i was able to get one button to button to make sure at at least this part was covered um also like i said you could wear a bandeau like that tube top 
So it will cover this section as well. Also, the how tight you tighten your elastic is going to dictate how much it opens. I wanted mine to open. You do not have to do that, of course. So you can just loosen up your elastic some and it'll close more in the front. And also, um, on the no sew one, if you want to just add two little slits in the front, add some t-shirt yarn and just make a tie in the front, that'll also help it to keep it closed in the front. There's two little tips if you wanna wear it in a different way than I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And I have other videos for you to watch right here and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.